Okay, I'm back. This is part three of the mini file folder tutorial. And I know I've been all over the place. I haven't done many tutorials, but I think you get the idea. Um, so here's my original one. I want to show you now how to make these pocket, this pocket um, tag. These are just the full size tags, the ink central tags. And then this is an ink central tag that she makes these little inserts with. All right, so I just want to show you and talk about that real quick. So you have your ink central tags right here. This is the full size, oops, the full size tag. And you're just going to score that at four and seven eighths from the tab part down. So you want the end of that to be scored. So you need three of those. You also need, you're going to take the other half of the file folders, like when you have half of your file folder left over. What I did was, because I like that kind of tabby looking top, I mean you can round your corners, you can use anything you want to do. Um, I just went with this. So I would cut this to four and an eighth by four and an eighth. So using that, I just went four and an eighth and then I cut the bottom off four and an eighth and it's a, basically a square. But I took that and then I traced it around and I cut another uh, notch in the top to get the shape of this. All right, so you need three of those, three at four and an eighth by four and an eighth. And then you can round your corners, you can do whatever you want. I just actually used the, the two ends, like I cut two, one here, one here, and then I probably used one other side from another one of the um, folders that I cut. And then I just like flipped it and traced it on there and cut the end, so I had three of these. These are for the side looting pockets. So those are done. Now for this, you're just going to take this, and what I did on the original one was, on the first page, I put it down on the bottom. Then you got your middle file folder and the big page. Then on the second one, I put it at the top. Okay, so it's actually, they go on the same page as your side loading pocket. So that one's at the top. And then on the third side loading pocket page, I put it at the bottom again. So I went top, bottom, top. Bottom, oh, bottom, top, bottom. Bottom, top, bottom. All right, so you want to adhere those before you put any of your decorative paper on because then this little hinge gets hidden underneath the decorative paper. All right, so I have time. I think I might as well just adhere this. I'm going to use the um, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive and you do it along the bottom here on the back of it. That's so much glue. I'm not good at tutorials. This is crazy. All right, so then you don't want to put it right up against the um, the middle because, you know, it this uh, hinge, what am I trying to say? The binding, you don't want to make it too uh, thick in the middle is what I'm trying to say. So I just lined it up, push down, give it a nice push down. I'm going to even use a paper towel because I know a lot of glue just squished out of the back of that. And wipe it off and I don't have my Timmy mat down or my ink essentials mat down I don't have my light on <laughs> um, I'm sniffing sorry all right so now you have this little additional place to put photos or journaling so that's one then this one would go at the top same thing right here Make sure you put it with the hinge on the back, two, and then this one, three. So that's it. So let's see. Um, sniff, sniff. All right, so you have, you want to put, um, I actually like how this one turned out too because I put the darker papers on my tags, on all my tags. And I left the lighter paper on the page, so they really showed up, like the extra, the extra page and everything. And then this is just a nice, pretty light paper. But then I did it again, like I used the same color paper on my tags, and then I used a different paper for my page, and a nice big page. And again, I used the green for my tags on this one, and then a double, the same paper for this on that one. 
and another big paper there and that is the same as the front so all right that is basically it I know it wasn't perfect um I don't know if it's my camera setup or what's going on with why I feel so uncomfortable doing the tutorial I you know um it ends up being I'm going to give you the final measurements just so you don't have to wonder if you did it right so this cover goes from the end of the tab I'm going to turn my light on again I don't know if it's better with the light or without I don't know now there's a glare but it's five inches from the tab to the uh, binding okay so that's the cover size the cover that little extra piece that we put on is five inches from here to here and six inches there so then when you open it up this page uh, well without that this page the middle page is four and three eighths by six and then this is should be five again yep five from the from the tab to the binding I don't I think that's called a binding and then so these little tabs come out on the little it added its four and three eighths this page is it's like four and a half five so I think it's four and a half and five this is a little short from four and a half so but that's how my original one turned out I like it I think it's very like cohesive I don't like this light on but the way the tabs kind of um, flow like from bottom to top like it it just looks cool and it's like one of the ni nicest looking ones that I've seen out there so that's why I wanted to um, do a tutorial just to make sure because I mean it's really that's what we're here for to share um, ideas and if I learned anything that worked for me I wanted to share it with you so hopefully you'll give it a try and thanks for putting up with my sniffles and um, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching okay bye bye